No, it's just in it. Hi there, Catherine Bright here. That was really good, Scotty. It's nice to listen to you. I haven't seen your stuff before. So, hi all. I'm here for, well, apparently half an hour, but maybe longer. It seems we don't have anybody up until eight after me, so we'll see how we go. And tonight I'm going to do a uh, large volume of originals, so I hope you can hope, <laughs> cope with those. Um, oop, find a face. Here I am. I'm finding my face. This thing's just decided to cut me out. That's great. Here we go. Come on. I'm here. Find me. Oh, I see. I've reversed it. There we go. Oh, gosh. Technology, don't you love it? Okay, here I go. This first song is called The Latin Lover Lullaby. And I wrote this a few years ago, 2018. It has been in the Australian Songwriters Association Awards uh, in the shortlist. And um, it's one of those ones which takes some picking. So enjoy. Spanish influence. to see Hope you like that. I'm not exactly sure whether I can get comments here at all. I'm not getting any so far. So let me know if there are any and I will see how I'm going here. Okay. Hope you like that one. That was the Latin Lover Lullaby. Oh, hi, Alona. How are you, darling? Nice to see you there. Hector Harrison, wonderful song. Oh, thank you, Hector. That's beautiful. Um, I'm going to swap over and please Mike now and do something on the actual banjo. <laughs> Every time I do this, I keep my guitar around and, and Mike goes, I have seen you do this on the banjo. 
Um, so the song we're going to do is called Baby's Breath and a Diamond Ring. And I wrote this a few years ago and um, through Mike, it's got onto the Scottish radio with Mike, uh, with Murray McIntosh on Super Sound Radio. And he loves this song apparently and plays it a bit. So here we go. Ready? It's me with my band, Joe. It's written for the Empty Nesters. I'm not sure how I um, get to see your comments on here because I'm not seeing any, but Kim, my husband, is telling me all about them, so this is a really nice thing. Sava to Catherine Toth. Thank you, Alona, sweetheart. Um, okay, so I'm going to do something completely different. This is a, a song I wrote for my husband while one night I was cooking, stirring gravy and just sort of, you know how sometimes something just pops into your head? And then you have to figure out how to make the song happen. So this is one of those. And this is called It's More Just Because You're Gorgeous. And that phrase kind of stuck, so I kind of did a bit of a swing tune to that. So. It's more just because you're gorgeous, because you're wonderful. Lushes, it's more just because you're gorgeous, I love you. Marvelous, wonderful, you do my heart good with your attitude, cause it's more just because you're gorgeous, that's just you. You make me smile, you linger a while, you say my name, my heart's not the same.
Cause it's gorgeous Cause you're gorgeous Cause you're wonderful Lushes, it's gorgeous Cause you're gorgeous It's gorgeous Because you're gorgeous Because you're wonderful Lushes it's more just because you're gorgeous. I love you. <laughs> Bit of a different ending for a change. Hi there. Um, now, for the, this one is actually Catherine. Are you still there? Catherine Toff, I hope you are still there. If you are, this is a French song coming up. So uh, this one is called Beachside Love on the Riviera. It starts out in English and goes to French. so much i don't know why i can't see anyone's comments still but hopefully and they'll come up yeah i don't know actually yeah not the ones i saw but <laughs> i think t australian beaches are by far the you know most beautiful i really wish i could see comments on here i have no idea why i can't but um so be it it just is as it is i suppose mm -hmm. kim can relay mm -hmm. Um, this one is a song that I wrote. Uh, this has just got into the Australian Songwriters Association shortlist this year. There's another one that's on my new album that's just come out called Ambience Sensuality, um, but it's a full orchestral piece, so I can't play that live on here. Um, but they're both available, by the way, on Spotify and Apple Music if you want to join up and listen to my stuff. Um, you're most welcome to, Catherine Bright. 
And this one, Fairy Glade, would you believe I wrote many years ago when I was a children's entertainer. I have shown Mike a picture of me dressed in one of my costumes, but uh, you know, the ladybird or the whatever. And this one was one that we used to um, have for the little ones and it kind of used to get them in and out of our shows. Let's meet. 
Nick's there. Ah, good day, Nick. It is you. Met Nick the other week on a live stream. Uh, lives in Sydney, I believe. How many people have we got here from different countries? We've got Catherine from France and we've got a fair few from Australia. Um, interested if there's anyone from anywhere else at the moment. Cool. And we've got USA with a loner. Yep. Who else? So many amazing originals. Oh, thanks, Dale. <laughs> got another one. Brisbane. Ah, Brisbane. Okay, cool. Alona, USA. USA, yeah. We're in Tasmania. Ex New South Wales, ex Tasmania. <laughs> ex Holland. <laughs> Is Catherine still there? Catherine Toff, the one from France? I'm not sure if she's not there. Oh, I hope she didn't, she didn't miss the French one. Anyway, might get it later. She said it's some. Um... Yeah. Better the comment there that it was um, with an accent I find it more attractive. With an accent? Mm. Yeah. So she liked my accent? Mm -hmm. Yeah. My dad was a linguist and he spoke French. And so when we were children, if we didn't say our French properly, um, we didn't get our chocolate. <laughs> so, merci. Nicola, Sean. Yeah. Nicola, yeah. Oh, it's a fair, fair few people there tonight. I can't tell on mine, I don't know why, but hello from everyone. And I'm. Any comments you put down there, my husband Kim is actually relaying back to me, so thank you. Um, the next one that I'm going to play now is called Angry Man, um, and this one was in the ASAs a couple of years ago, um, as in the shortlists. Um, Hector's up in Townsville. Oh, hi, Hector in Townsville. Good day. You're on, I think, later tonight, maybe. Um, this song I wrote a lot of years ago, actually, after a domestic violence relationship, and I couldn't actually sing it for about 20 years. And then... When I did start singing, it went down really well and I felt like it's been healed for me in so many ways. And there's, in all stories, there are, there's all the players, you know. So this is called The Angry Man and it's a bit more rocky. Okay. Oh, I've suddenly gotten comments. This is bizarre. Hello, Hector. I'm up here in Townsville. G'day, mate. <laughs> okay, here we go. This goes down well with a band and a good lead.
Hello, Alona, you're staying up till all hours of the morning in the US to watch this concert. Oh, I'm so honoured, love. Thank you so much. Love this song too. Thanks, Hector, darling. I can actually see Alona and Hector's comments now. Um, I can't see anybody else's yet. I don't know why. It's kind of interesting, but I can see you too. Um, yeah, it's, it takes a lot to, um, you know, I'm proud of myself. I got through that. It wasn't easy, believe me, but it's, um, it's good to have done it and to know that I'm strong. So, now to politics. <laughs> the next song is called Fire Away. And if you do look up my um, Apple iTunes, whatever, Apple Music, uh, you will see a cover of a man running into a bushfire, which is just a stunning, stunning photograph, unbelievably amazing. Um, and it is a photo that was I was allowed to use from the actual fireman who's in the photo, a young fellow in New South Wales. And when we were all burning in 2009, 2020, I wrote this song as a bit of a statement because we didn't get the help from uh, Scott Morrison and everybody else up where I was living in New South Wales at that time. Um, there was our house nearly burnt down. There was just so much destruction, a nesting ground for koalas with 300 dead behind us. It was just horrific. And the fires in our town went for seven months, would you believe, burning in the peat underneath the ground. And it was just the most um, enormous um, trauma for just all the east coast of Australia. And, of course, now they've got the floods on top of that. But So this one is called Fire Away. I might add Flood Away in there. Um, and so, you know, vote with your feet, guys, on the next election because the one government we have doesn't seem to know what to do with natural disasters and we haven't had the help. So this song is part of uh, was part of the 2019-2020 bushfire YouTube playlist. I was honoured to get on that with this. And... Um, Proceeds from this, if you do buy them, I will donate to the Rural Fire Service of New South Wales and have done so back then. Got into the um, grand final of the Panthers songwriters competition and this was one of the five songs submitted to that and it struck a chord with the audience big time up there. Do you hear the people running from the fire? See them panic as the flames grow higher Shattered dreams of a life of leisure The Aussie people at the government's pleasure Fire away Fire away Fire away Requests me forgotten emails. There's no logic in a parliament's plans to expect volunteers to save us, man. Fire away. Fire away. Australians unite, we're a land of the brave 
community bonds our spirits must be saved far away flood away flood away The pleas we make in vain, far away, oh, far away, oh, far away, oh, flood away. Yeah, it's emotional. Thank you, Hector. It's such a haunting song. Yeah, it is. It is. And when you've lived through natural disasters, I know Alona has with bushfires in America, and when you've, uh, when you've lived through that stuff, you don't forget what that feeling of danger is and the fear of, you know, starving or surviving or whatever it is that, that is in your particular space. It's, it's a, the most basic of human needs to be safe and to be nurtured and looked after. And when you know that you're not, um, and there's no way out of that, like all the people at the moment in northern New South Wales and, you know, who, who are dealing with it, like around Lismore, that's just, you know, it's so big. Um, so I, I feel for them. So I dedicate that song to the people doing it tough right now. Um, all around the world, like Ukraine, Russia, you know, it's just full on our little humanity. And now for positive and happies. This song I wrote for my hubby and myself, and it's called We Too. I wrote this back in 2013. Inside the sun is shining, inside my heart is shining too. for it being lovely. <laughs> I can't see anything coming through from Alona at the moment, but I can see that she's hanging in there. Coffee, love, coffee. Well done. Um, okay, this is different altogether. I don't think any of you have heard this before. It's 
called Survival in the Red Land and considering that's a big issue right now. It's about slavery, it's about oppression. And I wrote it in 1999, I think. If you Usually you have to have some sort of like click sticks to go with this and think of Russian. You know, because I don't think you have anybody on today. Um, all of these are original and please sponsor my music if you feel so inclined. You can PayPal a donation across. You do not have to in any way, shape or form. Do not care. That's all if you wish. Um, also, you can listen to my music for free on Spotify. You can look at Apple Music. And would you believe I'm also a hypnotist, just in case you didn't know that, and I have like 33 something or other titles that you can listen to and download as well on Apple Music. So it's the hypnotic voice, you know. This one's called Please Save Our Babies Today. Pero 
you. Nick says, sounds good. Off for dinner in bed and work early. Nice songs. All the best, Catherine. All the best, Nick. Thank you, my sweet. Are you enjoying this so far, guys? You may hear some of the ones I don't often sing now. I'm going to go the whole way through with the originals if I can. <laughs> um, so this next one is called the, well, I originally wrote it as the Sorrel song. Oh, thank you, Alona. Says she loves my music. Um, as the Sorrel song, which is a suburb that I was living when I wrote it. And I turned it into the local song when I moved into state because obviously you couldn't. So I've um, just kept it as the local song, but it's... It's sort of more of a sort of country western in a way, but some of mine, so we'll go there. Folky and a bit of everything. The beaches, surf and pine trees, the fragrance of the sea, all around. Kathy enjoying. Oh, that's great. G'day. Friends of mine here. Um, so I'm going to do another little one. Uh, this one is a, can be done on a banjo. I shall insist on foiling that, even though I did the earlier ones on a banjo. I'm breaking new strings on it. So this is called um, My Carefree Banjo Song. I'd like you to be tapping your foot with this one, okay? Or clapping. Kicking a stool. <laughs> don't, don't start on the wrong chord. <laughs> Kicking a stone along a country road, babbling to a trickling stream. I'm happy with myself. With myself, tweeting to a birdie with eyes of green, skipping to a forest scene. I'm laughing to myself, feeling silly with myself, cause I'm free. Cause I just own the sun There's 
nature for having fun. I don't have no money, no time frames here, and I don't care less because I can't be free. I'm happy with myself, happy with myself, because I'm free. Adaptive banjo style. <laughs> oh, we're getting there. I'm nearly. Oh, thanks, Mike. You like that one? I know. This one is. Um, this one I did for children back in when was it? 1999. Way back when, in the Ladybird era, and um, it's called Raindrops Falling. So I would like you all to get your inner child out of the pocket, please, and head out into the garden. Well, in your head at least. Alona. Oh, thank you, Catherine. She's back. Yay. Asking Catherine, did you hear my French song? You did, didn't you? I think, with all the French bits in it. If not, I might even do it at the end again. Uh, so Raindrops Falling, this one's called. It's a children's song, and I would like you to be outside pretending you're in a cubby house and it's raining and you're looking out. Okay, so just to get your little self out of your pocket. Ready? This is the raindrops. Rain clouds forming way up high, raindrops falling from the sky, small birds shelter from the storm, glistening feathers reflect the moon. Flowers show their dewy faces, insects find small hiding places, rivulets upon the grass leave their mark as they go past. Rain is falling, pitter pad. Nature spins its crystal light and makes my garden come to life. Drip, drip are the leaves crying. Can't you see that they are smiling? Raindrops tickle shiny backs, trickling down their silvery cracks. From my cubby hole, I watch. Rain and insects play hot scotch. Flowers put up their umbrellas to shelter friends in rainy weather. Drip, drop, trickle, spat. Rain is falling, fit a pad. Nature spins its crystal light and makes my garden come to life. That's the poet in me coming out. You know, I have an enormous amount of songs that I can't play live. Um, so if you want to listen to my orchestral bits and pieces, I've got some beautiful ones on Spotify. And my new album, Ambience, which is out at the moment, has some really groovy tracks on it and some orchestral tracks. And there's Catherine Bright Instrumental Meditations, if you're interested in having some relaxing music. You'll find them all up in there so you can listen. And I would love you to, um, to comment and share. There's harp, piano, there's all sorts of interesting things on there. Um, I've still got more originals, would you believe it? Oh my gosh, I think I might even make it to the end. <laughs> so he's giving me flowers. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> um, trying to figure out what to play next. Yeah, I might do a different one, a bit of a darker genre. This is called Absent Love, and it's back in 1999 again. It's written in a different title and slightly changed, but... Darker images take flight Hear 
my heart, see my dreams, feel my soul as it hits me. She says, thank you for a beautiful show. But I've got a couple of minutes left by the look of that. I might just do one more. Something completely different that you probably haven't heard me do either. This was an old song I did back in 98. It's country and western. It's called The Fast Lane. In the days where you had to actually input and punch numbers in. Three o'clock in the morning alone. Oh, my God. You are so dedicated. I'm sending you a song, all right? I'll send you a freebie. Thank you so much for hanging around. I tried once before, I don't think it came through. So if you want to PM me with your email, I will attach a song for you and, and send it through from a new album, something relaxing for you. Okay, thank you. So this is a country and western sort of a song, country song called The Fast Lane. And remember, this is in the day where we had computers and data entry. <laughs> and I worked in the public service <laughs> at one point. Oh, my. Okay, there we go. Just to see you out with. I'm sitting in the middle of the fast lane.
stuffed on my screensaver just to give them the mm. So if I drop my Thank you all. Thank you very much, Mike, for your platform, giving gigs. Love you all. Thank you. Bye-bye, guys. Have a good night. There's a little PayPal link there if you choose to donate at all. You don't need to, though. Lots of love. Thanks, Kathy, for the claps. <coughs> Thanks, everybody who commented. Alona, you are a blooming legend. Three o'clock in the morning. Can't believe it. Um, and thank you so much for being so, like, stalwart and always being on my live streams. Love you, love. It's very nice of you. Okay, and thanks, Kim, for all your good work. Mike, everyone else that's on there. Mwah, 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 mwah. Bye.